Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Firefox, the Pokemon TCG Trinidad YouTuber. Lol. Um, and we're speaking about Scarlet and Violet's sixth set, the Twilight Masquerade. Now, this was announced before even the release of the fifth set that we had, Temporal Forces. However, they've released it and they've given us a potential release date, which is May the 24th, which is kind of set in stone since this set is going to be or has been released in Japan already. So we're kind of going to see that transition over to an English set. However, today we're going to be discussing the card list or the set list for Pokemon TCG Scarlet and Violet Twilight Masquerade. Now I'm going to do these things. I'm going to do them in parts. So I'm going to do like grass, then fire, then electric, then water, etc. Uh, just so that the video doesn't end up too long. So be sure to stay tuned for all the parts. I'll have them like linked in the cards above, up on the, up on the top there, or wherever the top is, um, as well as at the end of the video and in the description. So you guys can stay tuned for that. Kind of go through all the cards, see what they are. And if I can use some of my limited knowledge of Pokemon TCG, because I am very new into it, to kind of explain what it is we're going to be seeing and the uses of the cards then i will try to do so but let's just take a look at some of the products that will be coming out we have obviously the 36 pack booster box we have single packs that will be selling um one with ogapon on it then we have the bear and this new i can't remember his name but for synesty we also have another single pack we have the atbs obviously which will have in it its regular um products of course we have uh the pamphlet we have the brick of energy we have some sleeves we have some dividers they've hidden the promo card obviously because it will be a spoiler but i'm sure it will be something along the lines of ogapon maybe maybe not and then we have our nine packs of course our dice and everything like that um and then there is the three pack blister that will be featuring the river room and snorlax one or the other and then you have those single packs where you get a coin as well featuring Lechunk and you have either Toxel or Pupita. We have also the Build and Battle box that we usually see at pre-releases with assortment of cards. So you can probably pick up one of these and kind of just jump in to play one time. Um, and if there are pre-release events, you can probably visit those pre-release events and get to have a feel of how this deck is played. We have the six pack bundle as well, as well as a binder that will be coming out with this set, which looks really cool. The outside of this binder looks really cool. Of course, the energy is going down the spine. Um, we have one with Ogapon on it, as well as uh, on the back, I think that's Trackapult, and he is Terrod, so that's cool. And then we have the other one. Um, we also have some more of these single pack blisters i can't remember what they call them but they have an evolutionary line in it as well kind of help you complete some of those binders that you guys will want to be completing and then obviously we have the main 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 guy for the set ogre pond we have the grass type we have the fire type the water type the i can't remember i think this is fighting type and then we have the ogre's mask as well as the teal mask ogre pond like the basic form of it so Kind of interested in seeing how this set out, out, unfolds. We have 167 cards before Secret Rares, which is a little larger than what we had for like 151 and a couple others in the set, but definitely smaller than the recent one, I think, which was 192, if I'm not mistaken. Could have been less, I may be mistaken. Um, we have six A Spec Trainer cards, Special Energy cards, seven Pokemon EX. This includes Blood Moon or Saluna. Cream Tail, Iron Zone, Sinister, and three other unrevealed cards. We have seven Terra EX Pokemon. This Pokemon, this includes Maracago Fire, Greninja Fighting, Dragapult, Dragon, and four Ogopon EXs. And you have 21 Illustration Rare Pokemon, 11 Special Illustration Rare and Supporter cards, six Hyper Rare Gold Etched cards, and more than 30 Trainer cards of uh, in the set. So, so let's get into the fire cards in the Twilight Masquerade set that's coming up on May 24th. We have firstly Volpix with Live Coal, 40 damage. Probably not going to see him being played. We have Nine Tails with Eerie Glow, 90 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and confused. Some versus might choose to run this card. I mean, if you run this card, obviously you're going to have to run Volpix. But we'll see how that goes. Probably not going to see it. We have Slugma. Hot Magma, 20 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. A lot of burning effects from these fire Pokemon. 
obviously. We have Hot Magma and Ground Burn on Marcago EX with 70 damage. Your opponent active Pokemon is now burned. And with Ground Burn, you have 140 damage plus each player discards the top card of their deck. This card does 140 more damage for each energy card discarded in this way. Ooh, that's three energy to do this attack though, which is not great. But you do get to kick off some cards off of the top of your opponent's deck. However, you do have to get rid of one of your deck as well. We have Tor Cole with Ramming Shell and Fire Spin, 30 damage. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. And then Fire Spin does 110 damage. Discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. Probably we're not going to see this being played at all unless you want some sort of discarding energy mechanic in your deck, which seems unreasonable for this set that's going to be releasing. We have Chimcha. Uh, oh, I think this is the first starter that we've seen in the deck list so far yep this is the first starter so we have chimcha and he does fire breathing flip a coin if heads this attack does 20 more damage so he can do up to 40 if you flip a heads monfuno obviously to evolve him 40 damage with chop and heat blow 80 damage is kind of energy from this pokemon a lot of these have some discard energy mechanics which is kind of crazy um, then we have inferno final evolution on the line fire dancing ability once during your turn you may attach a basic energy or basic energy fire or one of each from your hand to your pokemon in any way you like okay and 200 damage on scorching fire this kind of energy from this pokemon does does that that 200 on scorching fire is low-key kind of heavy hitting however 140 health probably not gonna see him being played because he's gonna be knocked out by a lot of other pokemon that have easier mechanics in terms of attacking we have litwick call for family we are familiar with call for family place a basic pokemon onto your bench and then we have live cool we have Lampent with Live Coal again and Burnout. 60 damage. Just got all energy from this Pokemon. Worth it. We have Chandelier with Inviting Light and Mind Ruler. 30 times damage. This attack does 30 damage for each card in your opponent's hand. That's cool. Once during your turn, you may use this ability. Each player draws a card. So you can have them draw a card and then do more damage because of how much cards in their hand. Which is This is actually... This one, this one we might see being played. However, that, that, that health requirement that health there that 130 is probably not gonna make it very easy to stay on the board we'll we'll see how it goes we have chi yu making a return draw two cards with allure um but you have to pay one energy for that and then we have ground melt 60 plus damage if a stadium is in play this attack does 60 more damage then discards that stadium so you can get rid of a stadium plus 220 damage that's kind of cool we have ogapon ex heart flame mask we have Rotful Ha, 20 damage. This attack does 20 damage for each damage counter on the Pokemon with 210 health. You can get up to a good bit of damage, but you're going to be dying very soon to do more damage. And then we have Dynamic Blaze, 140 plus damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, this attack does 140 damage and discards all energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 140 more damage so you're essentially going to be doing 280 damage but you have to discard all the energy from the pokemon which is not great which is not great at all there must be some way to attach energy quickly back onto this ogre pond because it seems like this card is going to be one of those highly played cards with 210 health as well he may survive one or two hits based on who's on the field so not bad at all and i like that art style you can see the little Masky boy in the side there, hello, in the back, because you know that this mask is kind of part of just the terror. So that's kind of cool. Prevent all damage done to this uh, to this card on your bench. So you can probably retreat this to your bench because there's one retreat cost and add energy back onto it and then bring it back out maybe to do some attack. Hmm, interesting to see how this will be played, but it definitely will be played. And that brings us to the end of the fire list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't see the first one, please check it out where we did all the grass Pokemon. It was a bit longer than this one. And I know I talk a bit fast, so I'm sorry. I am from Trinidad, so you know what? We speak very fast. If you didn't understand, let me know. I'll try to speak slower in the next one. It's your boy Firefox. Until next time, peace out.